anyone up for Mexican tonight? I have a really quick and delicious recipe to make chicken quesadillas. The reason why I chose to make chicken quesadillas is because I remember ordering them back when Marcus used to visit me in New York and we stayed at a lovely place in Woodside and this restaurant that we frequented made these delicious chicken quesadillas and you basically take these corn tortillas and then um, for the filling would have chicken and it would also have onions. It would also have bell peppers, garlic. There would be some chili. They had mozzarella or other types of cheese. Um, salsa and avocado on top as garnish as well as soured cream. Yes, all of this sounds pretty chaotic and it sounds kind of um, overwhelming, but I think once you get started, it isn't going to be as complicated as it sounds. So let's go get started then. So first I'm going to marinate this with the seasoning. It, it doesn't matter if you put a lot in. Um, we do have a big amount, so we do need to season it uh, thoroughly. So I am letting this sit for a few minutes while I prepare the onions and pepper and garlic. So let's take some of this um, olive oil and let's pour in the garlic and the onions. And peppers. So I think I am going to brown this off before I add some of the chicken in. Okay, I think that this has wilted um, to some extent now. So I think now would be a good time to add the chicken. So let's add some more oil. And here is the chicken that's been marinating. So I'm going to put the chicken on the bottom. And then maybe turn up the heat a little bit. So basically this is going to be the filling for the chicken quesadillas. So chicken quesadilla is the two um, tortillas sandwiched with the filling and this is the filling. And then the mozzarella is going to serve as the glue to hold the sandwich together. So it's going to be nice and tasty. So I am working up an appetite. So I hope that it's not gonna take too long. So let's get back to this cooking. I think I'm gonna add some water to this to get some of the brown bits on the bottom. you see all these bits on the bottom? So this is to loosen it up and to not let it go to waste. So let's add a bit more. So I have been simmering this chicken mixture for about 10 minutes. I've added some water to get some sauce going. Um, so now this is pretty much done. So I'm gonna take this off the heat. 
And now I'm going to start on the wrap portion. Okay, so now I am going to be frying up the tortilla um, wraps. So these are wheat and corn tortillas. I like to heat them up before I eat them. So I need to heat two so that they could make part of the sandwich. Uh, so I need to heat one first before I heat the other. I decided not to use oil because the oil will make it all greasy and I don't really want that. Um, but I think dry frying it on the pan will definitely do the trick. So I need to basically heat two of these tortilla wraps before I add the cheese and the filling to it. You could have it just the way it is, but I think in order for the cheese to melt, you need to heat it up. So now let's add some of this mozzarella to this um, recipe. I do like the way that it melts. Okay, so I'm gonna take this part out and then I'm gonna put the other one in to add some more cheese to it. Maybe just a little bit more cheese. I'm going to take some of this mixture out and then add it to the, to the wrap. I am not going to overfill it because it will um, come out. It looks like this is done and nicely melted. So I'm going to kind of flip this pancake over. Oops. Ah! So this is how the chicken quesadilla looks like without any of the other ingredients that I'm going to add now. So we have salsa. We have sour cream. We have the chili, which Marcus might not want. So I'm going to add some chili first. Um, I sliced some of these avocados. So I'm going to take a few pieces off. And let's also add some of this sour cream. This will neutralize some of the heat from the chili. And let's also add some salsa. Mm. Yummy. I normally make my own salsa, but there are some things that you need to store by. Okay, so doesn't this look pretty? So now let's cut this up. This is sort of like a pizza. Oh my gosh, it's so difficult to cut open. So now I kind of hold it like a pizza slice. Oh wow. Mmm. It's nice and gooey. The heat from the chili really comes through. Um, the sour cream does help make it taste less spicy and it kind of balances the whole meal all together. Um, I think that I need to put a little bit more mozzarella in it, I think, but this is pretty tasty, I would say. Um, this does remind me of those delicious meals that we had in Woodside at that Irish pub. Mmm. So I think this is a quick and easy way to have fajitas, but in a more um, 
sandwich kind of way. So I think you should definitely give this a try. Mmm. Yummy. Thank you for watching the show today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. When I'm relaxing, I like to have an, a wee dram of whiskey. This one I picked up recently and it's called Tenjaku Whiskey. Tenjaku is the Japanese characters for the Skylark, the much loved herald of spring. And for this masterfully blended whiskey, like the clear exquisite song of a, of a small bird. It features an agreeably pure mellow flavor. Overlooking Mount Fuji, surrounded by nature's riches, carefully selected whiskies and pure natural spring water are expertly blended to create this distinctive whiskey. Okay, this is a blended whiskey, so I'm not going to be a snob about having a single. Um, so I wanted to try this whiskey. I've never had it before and it was on offer. So it was one of the things that um, appealed to me to this whiskey. So not bad again. It doesn't smell like your traditional um, Scotch single malt whiskeys. Okay, I think that that's like a double, I think. Let's see whether I can um, tell what other fl flavors or fragrances I could ascertain from this. It does smell kind of citrusy. Um, let's see whether there are any legs in this. I think that there are legs because you can see it um, clinging on to the sides of the glass. I think that that is a sign of a really good whiskey when it does stick to the side of the glass. I think that I heard that somewhere um, amongst many of the whiskey tours I took part in. Okay. It does smell pretty potent though. First thought that comes to mind is I, I sense a sweetness to this. Um, I'm not gonna use my typical it tastes of caramel, which I think that it does, but it tastes um, fragrant, um, not overly powerful, and it isn't harsh like the the whiskeys from the Islay or the peated whiskeys. Oh gosh, it's like really bothering me that I can't figure out what this actual. Um, taste feels like. Okay, the, let me have another go. It does denote maybe some honey. So let's see whether I've gotten any of this stuff right. Uh, this is the box that it came in. So the a color is clear amber, which is fine. The nose is a, is a faint smoky accent, sweet aroma, redolent of pear and dried fruits. So I did say that it tasted sweet, but then I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Um, the palette is well-rounded and mellow, yes. Um, I can attest to that. And the finish is slightly spicy. 
a long finish with a hint of white oak and a spreading sweetness. So, so I think I did say that it was sweet, but I couldn't put into words um, the way that it had it on the box. I think this kind of deceived me because I was envisioning something to be kind of grainy because that's what the Japanese whiskeys taste like. But I don't really get that from this whiskey. Um, this is a malt grain whiskey. Um, I've had other Japanese whiskeys in the past, but I don't recall it being as smooth as this. So this is, I would say this is one of the best um, ones I've had from Japan. So let me have one last go. Yeah, so I do like it because it's, it sort of resembles the whiskeys that I've had um, from Scotland. So that's always a plus and yeah, I would say it's always a good thing to try out different whiskeys. You might like it and I think if you see it again, then you, then you'll be thinking, yeah, why don't I try this one? So I do recommend trying different whiskeys and I would say cheers to that. Bye for now.